to Between Two Props. I'm Marley Skye, and today with me I have Wendy. Hi everybody, I'm Wendy Hart. So tell me a little bit about yourself. Marley, I have been with Arts Alive for 23 years this coming September. Oh. I was the Arts Alive first employee way back when we officed in Tina's garage and her little office in her house. Wow, mm -hmm. that's very interesting. Thank you so much. So our first question, is what is one piece of wisdom that you learned from Arts Alive that you would like to share with other teachers? A piece of wisdom that I learned from Arts Alive is speaking with kindness and telling children exactly what you want them to do. It's like there's, um, when I'm in a classroom, I'm as kind as I can be to the children. They're being rushed in the world, they're they're being kind of given things to do and tasks all mm -hmm. the time. So I put all the kindness from my heart that I can into the classes with the children. That is a very important lesson that I think everyone should learn. Thank you, Mom. The Arts of Life philosophy embraces the spirit of the child. How would you say that this has affected the way that you see things in life? Oh, wow. That's um, a great thing to think about. I have taken that spirit of the child into my own life with my children. Mm -hmm. I, I, w I was in Arts Alive about a decade before I had children myself. So having um, been in the classroom with children of every age, every ability, and then and knowing how to work with them to enhance the, I guess, the beauty of their little souls. You're kind of making, you know, they're opening up to you and they're taking in all the knowledge that you have to give from our Arts Alive classes and being able to take those moments to my children, you know, and even before I had them, I was like, oh, I would do this with my child. I want them to have this beautiful, um, educating play experience out in the world and give them the time to use the props and things that we do. Wonderful. So our third question does relate to your answer. How has working with Arts Alive influenced the way that you've raised your kids? Oh, well, yes. Um, so probably in every aspect of raising my children, mm -hmm. Arts Alive has influenced it in some way, whether it's um, having me slow down and take my time doing things with them, um, giving them full, beautiful explanations of how to do things. I love how Arts Alive teaches by starting small and expanding on that, and especially with young children, giving them a very basic piece of information and then adding to that I feel like I've definitely taken that into the life with my children. Great. This is our main question. When did you fall in love with Arts Alive? Oh, I fell in love with Arts Alive when I was a preschool bilingual teacher at Klein Elementary School. There was a collaborative with HISD because at the time there were three hour preschool classes and a lot of parents could not afford to take their children for three hours and pick them up because they were working full time. Mm -hmm. So HISD and neighborhood centers collaborated to put a preschool bilingual teacher into a daycare center so that the children had full time care and I taught a morning and afternoon class. Tina came in with Arts Alive and blew everyone away and I can remember she came in with the very hungry caterpillar story done to movement and with music and I knew that I wanted to be a part of that Arts Alive program. She came in and she asked me after that class if I would want to come and participate doing, at the time we did birthday parties, workshops, and things on the weekend, and I said absolutely. <laughs> I love the Caterpillar story. Oh, it, she, she does it in a magical way. She does. So why have you chosen these two props today? This one is a lesson plan I'm teaching right now, our fantastic fun with food. And I feel like this is a magic moment. Mm -hmm. May I show you? Yeah. I have pasta, pretty pink and purple pasta in my purple pasta pot that I brought for us to use today. But Marley, I haven't brought enough. I just have a little bit. But I know a poem, a magical poem. If you help me by wiggling your magic fingers at this bowl, we can make more pasta. Okay. Bubble, bubble our pasta pot. Boil us some pasta nice and hot. We're all hungry and it's time to sup. Boil enough pasta to fill us up. My friends, it's good. There's Marley, there's so much. If we don't blow three kisses, the whole Arts Alive office might fill up with pasta. Ready? Oh, phew. And now look, there's a whole bunch of pasta. 
pasta for us to use today, Marley. Great. Oh, yeah. Fantastic fun with food is one of my favorite lesson plans. And now we have a beautiful purple, pink, and pasta in our purple pasta pot. May pasta. I pass that to you? Mm-hmm. Get a couple on the ground. I do. <laughs> and pasta it went everywhere. I'm pulling over another friend, though. Ah, uh, I know. <laughs> This is our Iguana Puppet in Arts Alive, and this is one of the very first lesson plans that I learned and taught with Tina. It's called Remarkable Reptiles and Amazing Amphibians. And it goes through, it, it, it gives the children information about so many different amphibians and reptiles while letting them have different movement experiences. They're jumping with frogs, they're doing a crocodile pulling motion with their body with the crocodiles. It's a, a fabulous educational experience where they still get to be aerobic and create their own movements as well. So this is our um, iguana puppet and the kids love it because the scales are actually kind of sparkly in the light. Okay, well that is all the questions that we have for today. Well, Marley, thank you for having me and letting me sit between two props with you. Anytime. So tune in for next week. We will have another teacher for us with Between Two Props with Marley Sky. Thank you, Wendy, for coming. Bye, everybody. Bye-bye.